Today's video is the first of my homecoming tutorials, and this look is going to be a classic elegant look that's a little bit more sophisticated than you would normally go for, but I think it's really gorgeous and I hope you guys enjoy. So today's video is going to be the first video of a kind of like a mini series that I'm doing and it's going to be homecoming makeup and hair looks. So I know that this is homecoming season and a lot of you guys are probably kind of thinking about what you want to do with your hair and makeup for homecoming and if your homecoming already passed I am so sorry that I didn't get these up earlier but I still thought it would be fun to do because you can wear these pretty much to any formal event. It doesn't have to be homecoming. It could be prom, it could be even like a fancy dinner or something. But anyways I'm going to be doing a few different homecoming looks styles. This first one is going to be a classic kind of Marilyn Monroe inspired. It's just very sophisticated. I just think it is so stunning for those girls who like that classic look. It's perfect if your dress is like black and white like the one I'm wearing right now or if it's just like black or just white or just kind of like solid colors. This is like the perfect makeup look for it. But let me know what you guys think below if you would like to see more of these videos because I'm not sure if you guys would or not and if you have any requests for other homecoming looks. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start off with the face and the first thing that you want to do is start off with a foundation. I recommend using a foundation that is good for taking pictures and it's kind of formulated um, for like flash and stuff like that. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. So my favorite trick to getting like that flawless airbrush makeup that comes up like perfect in pictures is to use a stippling brush and it's like the ones that's like white and black. So just start off by squirting some foundation on the top of your hand. Then just take the brush and kind of just get it on the tip of the brush. And then you just want to go ahead and start stippling this onto your skin. So you can kind of just go up and down and then you want to start like actually buffing it into your skin. take the Revlon Color Stay Under Eye Concealer and then I like to put this on the back of my hand before I apply it to my under eyes. Then you just want to get a little bit on your ring finger and start dotting this under your eyes and then blend it in. Now you can use a brush for this but I personally just prefer to use my fingers because I feel that it blends better. Then just take a face powder. I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte with a Kabuki brush and you're just going to get this on the brush and start applying this all over your face to set the foundation and concealer. Alright, so after you do that, now you want to move on to the eyes. So I'm going to take Too Faced Shadow Insurance, but you can use something like L'Oreal Decrease if you're looking for a good drugstore primer. So go ahead and apply that to your eyes and then blend it lightly in with your ring finger. Now I'm going to take this CoverGirl eyeshadow palette in the shade Shimmering Sand. So start off by taking the light shimmery color with a flat eyeshadow brush and just pack that onto your brush. And then go ahead and begin applying that to the inner corner of your eye along the lower lash line and then also bring it up on the inner corner of your eyelid. Then just get a little bit more eyeshadow and do the same onto the other eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the middle color and with the same eyeshadow brush pack that on there. And then you just want to apply this to the outer half of your lid. So just kind of apply it all over the rest of your lid and kind of try to blend it in with the light color that we just applied. And this is just going to give your eyes a nice like shimmery effect. Okay, then I'm going to go in with the last color, which is the dark brown, and just like a slanted eyeshadow brush, and just get that on the tip. And I'm also going to be mixing this with a slightly darker brown, just to make it a little bit more dramatic. And then you just want to start putting it on the outer corner of your eye and working a little bit into your crease. You just kind of want to start blending it and make it a little bit smoky. Now go ahead and take your favorite black eyeliner. I'm just using this Prestige Black Pencil Liner. Looks like that. I'm going to lift up on my upper lashes and line my tight line. Now pull down on your lower lashes and line your lower waterline and really make sure that you focus on the outer corner because this is going to make your eyes a lot more dramatic. Now I don't know about you guys but I feel like false lashes are kind of just like a must have when it comes to school dances, homecoming or any like dressy event. So I'm just using these ones from Sonia Kashuk I think, I don't really know but they're cute. And after you apply a thin layer of glue to the lash you just kind of want to let it sit for a little bit so the glue gets tacky. And then I also like to kind of squeeze them a little bit so it fits better onto my lashes. And then just go ahead and apply it to your lashes. So after you apply your false lashes, just take a liquid eyeliner and then you want to go ahead and line your lash line. So I like to start in the middle and then just work my way out, but pretty much this is just going to make your fake lashes blend in a little bit more with your real lashes. And after you do that, we're going to start making the line a little bit more thick to give us like that classic look. All 
Alright, then just go ahead and take your favorite mascara. I'm using the Maybelline One by One Volume Express in black, of course. And just go ahead and apply this to your lashes to mix the falsies with the real Z's. The real, yeah, whatever. And also make sure that you get your bottom lashes as well. Alright, now for lips, I'm just going to start off with Lip Balm, and this is EOS, and it's the pink one. So just apply this to your lips to give them some moisture. Now go ahead and take any red lipstick. It doesn't really matter which type of red you use. Just any red is going to give you like that classic makeup. So I'm just using this Maybelline lipstick in the shade Are You Ready? So start by just applying it to the middle of your top and bottom lip like this. Just kind of to the middle. And then you're going to go in with the lip brush and start spreading it out and trying to get it as like precise as you can. And then with a concealer brush and some pressed powder, you can kind of just go over around your lips. And this is going to kind of help it with bleeding throughout the night. And then gloss is optional. I'm just going to apply a little bit to my bottom lip for a little bit of shine and a little like Cupid's bow area. And you really don't need any blush with this look since it's already so dramatic, but I'm just going to take a light peach color from Maybelline and lightly dust this onto my cheeks, like very, very lightly, because you don't really need any blush at all. But that is the finished makeup look. Now let's move on to the hair. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is take my hair out of this bun and kind of just let it fall. And then you want to take a hairbrush and go ahead and begin brushing your hair out to get any tangles out of your hair just because it's going to be a lot easier to work with when it's tangle free. Now go ahead and take a 1 inch curling iron and turn that on and while it's heating up, we're going to give our hair a deep side part. You can choose either side you would like it to be on. Split your hair into two even sections and then section off the hair that is on the opposite side of the part with a hair tie and now we're going to go ahead and start curling the other side. So I'm going to take my one inch curling iron and all you're going to do is take one to two inch sections, start from the bottom and curl all the way to the top and then leave it there for a few seconds. And then when you let your hair drop, instead of just letting it stay there, we're actually going to pick it up in the palm of our hands and then pin it to your head with a bobby pin. And you basically just want to repeat that same step throughout all of your hair. So just curl it, then pin it to your head with a bobby pin and continue doing that until all of your hair is curled and pinned up. And I hope you're enjoying my very awkward singing right now. Good thing I muted it. And now that I've finished curling the first section of hair, I'm going to move on to the other side, as you can tell. And basically, pinning the hair to your head is just going to give it a more bouncy effect when you take the bobby pins out. And I'm just going to pin the last hair, and that is it. So now you just want to let this sit for about 10 minutes, just to let the curls cool for a little while. And then after your curls are done cooling, you're just basically going to take out all the bobby pins and you're going to have these gorgeous curls. So yeah, it's kind of a pain taking them out, but it doesn't take that long. So just go ahead and take out all the bobby pins in your hair and make sure you get them all out because that would be very embarrassing. Just saying. Then I'm just going to take a brush and lightly brush out some of the curls. Very, very softly though because you don't want to like pull out any of the curls. You just want to make it a little bit more loose. And then after that, I'm going to take a section of hair from the front of my face and kind of brush that back and secure it to the back of my head with a bobby pin. This is just going to give it a more like classic old Hollywood look that I think goes perfect with the style that we're going for today. So just go ahead and pin as many bobby pins as you think you're going to need. And then just finish off with a little bit of hairspray. I'm using this one by John Frieda, and I'm just going to lightly mist my hair with that. And then that is the finished hair look. So now I'm going to move on to the dress. So if you guys were wondering, the dress that I chose to wear with this is this gorgeous black and white classic dress from Forever 21. It was only $19, so very inexpensive. I just thought I would show you guys the dress just for a little idea. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Norman Finding Nemo. I just remembered that. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Okay, that was totally off subject. I'm sorry.